Southern Canadian Inn with free silver? Hmm. This is the free silver that I got today. But you're probably wondering why I have 10 rolls of nickels here. Because I am going to be doing a nickel hunt to see how much nickel I can accumulate from just 10 rolls alone. What I usually average sometimes. So. I've been hunting nickel for quite a while. I accumulated about $60. And basically what I'm doing is I'm using the profits from my nickel and basically turning it into free silver that you see right here. So I'm losing literally no money and I'm getting free silver. So technically I will count these as part of my fines because I wasn't sure what I was going to get today. So I happen to have gotten 13 68 silver dimes because that's all he had in terms of dimes along with two 50 cent pieces. There's a 58 and a 62. So it's always nice to be turning stuff that you hunt into stuff that you even love even more. So I'm going to get into these rolls and see what I can find. American, nickel, old dime, not old dimes, old nickels, but that's the stuff that you're going to be wanting to search for. Stuff like that. But mostly what I'm looking for is either varieties, or most importantly, nickel. That's what I'm mostly looking for. And it looks like this roll might not have any in it which that is the case. So, I'm going to start putting these away, and then I'll call you guys back in once I start accumulating a little more. As you can see, I'm already five rolls in. I've accumulated about 70 cents in American, not American, uh, can basically nickel. That's what I meant to say. And I accumulated 55 cents in American, so that's pretty good, I would say, for just five rolls so far. They are really dirty and grimy, so that's usually how it goes. I always check them for errors, stuff like that. Actually, I got a jackrabbit back today and change. forgot to mention that. Already starting to accumulate some nickel. It's always nice. Ah, oh, there's a 64 nickel. And Denver from America. 64 nickels I see from America are pretty common. It's like nothing super spectacular or anything. But it's always good to see American. It'd be nice to see some older stuff, but I haven't seen anything past 65 so far. Well, the oldest one being that 64 American, but... I'm putting these away and I'll call you guys back in once I start finding more interesting stuff. So I went through the rest of the nickels, nothing older than 1964 in American or 1965 in Canadian. So I did accumulate $1.25 in nickel, which is pretty good for just 10 rolls, plus a 85 cents in just a regular American dime. So. Overall, I would say that's pretty decent and about average per bundle that I get, so it's pretty good because now this is going to be another start away for another three bundles, and then once I do that again, I'll sell them off because that's what, how I get my free silver sometimes, and that's what I call this because no money lost, no money gain, and you also get something out of it, so that's what my dealer does for me, which is pretty cool, so... This is Southern Canadian Coins. Hopefully you enjoyed this little bit of an interesting video to as of what I do with my nickel. I don't really like to hold on to a bunch of nickel, but if I can convert it into something like this, it's completely worth it. So stay tuned for more videos down the road, and always remember, guys, happy hunting.